Probability of Combined Events to Exercise Mathematics Form 4 Self-Practice 9.2a Page 248 Determine whether the following events are dependent events or independent events. Number 1. The pointer of a lucky wheel stops at the same sector twice consecutively. The probability of the first stop does not affect the probability of the second stop. So, they are independent events. Number 2. The selection of two boys from the group of 10 girls and 14 boys at random. The probability of selecting the first boy affects the probability of selecting the second boy. So, they are dependent events. The probability of selecting the first boy is 14 per 10 plus 14 equals 7 per 12. 14 means 14 boys. 10 plus 14 means 10 girls and 14 boys. The probability of selecting the second boy is 13 per 10 plus 13 equals 13 per 23. 13 means after selecting the first boys, they are only 13 boys. So 10 girls plus 13 boys. So the probability of selecting the second boys is affected by the probability of selecting the first boy. So they are dependent events. Number 3. Answer 3 objective questions with 4 options correctly if the answer of each question is chosen at random. They are independent events. Why? The probability of answering the first objective questions correctly is 1 per 4. 4 means there are 4 options. 1 means among the 4 options, only 1 option is correct. The probability of answering the second object questions correctly is also 1 per 4. And the probability of answering the third object questions correctly is also 1 per 4. The three probability do not affect each other, so they are independent events. Number 4. Box P contains 2 red cards and 3 black cards, while Box Q contains 5 red cards and 6 green cards. A card is chosen at random from Box P and then put into Box Q. After that, a card is chosen at random from Box Q. Both cards chosen from Box P and Box Q are of the same color. They are dependent events. Why? The probability of choosing the first red card from box P is 2 per 2 plus 3 equals 2 per 5. 2 plus 3 means 2 red cards and 3 black cards. 2 means 2 red cards. The probability of choosing the second red card from box Q is 6 per 1 plus 5 plus 6 equals 1 per 2. After choosing the first red card from box B, the red card is put into box Q. Box Q have 5 red cards. After putting the first red card into the box Q, so the total red card in box Q is 5 plus 1. So the total card in box Q is 5 plus 1 plus the 6 green cards. So the probability of choosing the second red card from box Q is affected by the probability of choosing the first red card from box B. So they are dependent events. Number 5. Vincent and Bajak sit for a history test in school. Vincent and Bajak pass the history test. The probability of Vincent pass the history test does not affect the probability of Bajak pass the history test. So they are independent events. If you have any questions, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.